He's not learned his lesson. Oh, whoa. That is a nice perch, that. Oh, I've just thrown my net in. Folks, bang average fishing. How we doing? Iris, stop licking my hand. Yes, I'm out with the dog. I'm doing a casual little dog walk and seeing what's knocking about on the canal. No pressure, no expectation. Let's see what's swimming and see if we can catch something. I absolutely love this type of fishing. It's easy. Just get a rod out of the car, grab a net and an unhooking mat and get fishing. It's the simplest form of fishing and it's so effective as well. Set up today, the Fish Rig Max from Rigdon Ready, partnered with the RR3000 from Rigdon Ready. Yeah, I do need to whiz some new braid on, but let's be honest, I'm on the canal, you don't need to cast it far. And then on the hook, a classic size 3 Vibrax spinner with a wire trace, no messing about. Also fishing with 50 pound braid, by the way. When you're on the canal, I don't find it matters too much really about your tackle. As long as you've got strong enough gear in case you hook something decent and you get in a snag and you've got a wire trace or the equivalent to protect you from the pike, you're there or thereabouts. Which is why I love this type of fishing. It's so easy and it's so accessible for anyone to get into. I hope you enjoy guys and if you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Really, really helps the channel and tight lines. So it's about quarter to eight, eight o'clock, maybe a little bit later. And we've just come down this morning with the spinner, Iris in tow. Hello, I'm gonna see if we can catch a couple of jacks, maybe a few perch, I don't know. But the temperature dropped quite horrendously last night. So I'm not 100% sure how the trip is actually gonna go today. So we're gonna have give it a little plug away today and just see what's swimming. I'm not overly hopeful, but I'm not, not hopeful either. Cover some miles, cover some water, and hopefully we might stumble upon one. However, I am gonna be very honest. I had a McDonald's breakfast this morning, and that'll come flying out of me quicker than a Ukraine missile. So this could be a two, two hour session, three hours if we're lucky, because nature will be calling, and I'm not feeling the proverbial nature poo today. Sorry guys, a little bit too much info probably, but just wanna really get you into my mindset while I'm fishing. Just gotta hope that we're here at the right time. We're in the right place at the right time. I think we had a follow then, actually. Just seen a fish, but it was a pike and it was a fish. It's so grim, isn't it, Iris? It's minging. Just trying all the bends. Always find them very productive on a canal. Hey, no, 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 none of them. They're bad for you, love. They're bad for you. I'm looking out for you there. I'm looking out for you. Oh, the canal's starting to go that beautiful colour of orange. There's still a bit of green on the trees, but as you can see, the reds and oranges are just starting to come out now. Anglers, beware. Cuteness, 12 o'clock. Definitely one of my favourite spots on the canal. I'm not really sure why either. There's not much going on. And there must be something going on underneath because it's always been a very productive little spot. But folks, I'm going to take you back in time. About 12 hours, maybe a little bit longer, probably 15 hours. But I'm going to take you back 15 hours and arguably one of the coolest fishing moments I've had in a long time. Come here, Iris, come here. Cheers, mate. All right, car up. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I think they've all moved off. Yeah. Sit a bit, Bill. Oh. Just as I said, I thought they'd all moved off. <laughs> nice little jack took the spinner. There must be something about this bend. He's still there. He's flipping well interested in it. Just, should we just play this game? It's quite good fun, this. It's only a little jack. And he's... We've got him! 
Oh, he's off again. Maybe we should leave this guy. He's <laughs> just flipping hungry little devil. He's not learned his lesson. Oh, whoa. All right, huge perch. Jeez, where did he come from? We were just messing about with that pike and then this bloody huge perch has just come and gobbled it. Where's he come from? That is a nice perch, that. Oh, I've just thrown my net in. This is not what we need. This is all going to pop on a little trip with Iris. Come on, get in the net. He's absolutely mullered that, that spinner. He's not coming off anytime soon. Come on, get in. Oh, and he's in. Oh, what a fish. What a huge perch that is. Guys, apologies if the quality ain't great. It's getting on in the evening, but we've had this lunker of a perch. The fishing has been appalling, but he's turned up and saved the day. Corking. Right, let's get this guy back. Right, let's get him back. Not sure how much you can see. Oh, there he goes. Buzzing. I won't lie to you, I was really giving up before that as well. It was tough fishing. I'd been there a couple of hours, hadn't even seen a fish. And then finally, that happened out of nowhere. And that for me is perch fishing in a nutshell. And it's sort of why I've come down this morning, really. I was hoping to try and catch a few fish just on the early morning bite. Nothing has been to do, but that was my plan yesterday evening. I was hoping just to catch the late bite. And we certainly did that. Smashing stuff. It's not meant been today, unfortunately. That's fishing, you can't have it your own way all the time. But I hope you've enjoyed this little video. And if you have, hit that subscribe button. Tight lines, folks, keep fishing.